All right, everyone, an elderly female sustained Coley's fracture in her right hand, which was properly treated. Coley's cast was applied. Now she is complaining of severe pain and stiffness with cold sensation and cyanosis. Sympathetic changes. Exit of the hand reveals complete decalcification she is most likely suffering from. There is nothing in the question to suggest tuberculosis. Believe me. They have not mentioned night pain. They have not mentioned any other focus of TB. They have not mentioned anything like that. Traumatic tenosynovitis does not present with this. Now, what is causalgia? What is pseudoxal? Make it simple. There is a term called as CRPS, complex regional pain syndrome, which is primarily of two types. Here, what is written in front of your screen is three types, but primarily it is two types, type 1, type 2. If there is a unexplained pain with other symptoms in a particular region due to complex etiology which has to do something with the nerve that is what is called as CRPS type 2 previously called as causalgia if the cause behind that pain and other symptom with a complex etiology is anything other than nerve we are going to call it CRPS type 1 which initially was called reflex sympathetic dystrophy by the way, now what we are dealing here, what we are talking here is not causalgia. We are here to talk about pseudox osteodystrophy, also called as reflex, also called as reflex sympathetic osteoneurodystrophy. One thing I want you all to remember is this, that this is a delayed and believe me, a rare complication of Coley's fracture. It's a rare and believe me delayed complication of Coley's fracture. Okay, one thing, second thing, uh, you have to understand that if you really want to understand this condition, you have to understand that we are talking about an unexplained, uninhibited, uncontrolled, unregulated poor sympathetic stimulation. That uninhibited over sympathetic activity that uninhibited over sympathetic activity is actually the reason for something which is i mean you can make a mnemonic here uh, posh shop whatever we usually make a mnemonic that is what is called as shop we usually make a mnemonic that is what is called as shop now when i say P, what do you mean by P? P means basically pain. Now, when I say pain, it's a severe pain, it's a burning pain, it's an intense pain. And believe me, the most important thing is that this pain is out of proportion to anything. The second thing that you see is osteopenia on an x-ray so it is a kind of a, i want you people to remember today that it is a kind of a clinical radiological diagnosis you see osteopenia on x-ray why because of the exaggerated blood flow and i'm sure in question if you remember you had decalcification so that was and basically an osteopenia why because of the excessive blood flow see when you see a line what gets activated sympathetic parasympathetic sympathetic fight flight fright when you see a line, your blood flow is sympathetic system activated and your blood flow is increased. So technically, six weeks after Coley's fracture, nine weeks after Coley's fracture, the blood flow is increased, which is taking calcium to the distal and to the proximal side, leaving behind deficiency of calcium, osteopenia, decalcification, edge, a very, very prominent feature, believe me, a very, very prominent feature of this condition, hyperesthesia, allodynia. I still remember like if you even if you touch that patient with the wisp of cotton he feels or she feels as if somebody has blown a hammer so this is an altered sensation in the form of hyperesthesia and S basically stands for swelling you can not only swelling you know the wrist becomes stiff not only that you know skin becomes thin it becomes shiny it becomes stretched so you develop kind of trophic changes and this is what pseudox is all about Initial treatment is with sympatholytics. If not, then sympathetic ganglion block it. If not, then sympathectomy. Purpose is to stop the sympathetic activity with medicine, sympatholytic, with anesthetic sympathetic block. Otherwise, sympathectomy. Very, very poor outcome. This is a delayed and neglected complication of Coley's fracture, CRPS type 1, pseudix. If that same thing happens because of some nerve injury, we call it CRPS type 2, and that is what is called as causalgia. So, I do not want to talk about causalgia here because they have clearly mentioned fracture. That's in a bone, that's not in a nerve. So, answer is D, pseudix.
with this we come towards the end of the discussion of this question as well and i hope this benefits you in the long run a very frequently asked question in ug and pg entrance both i wish you guys all the best